if you wanna have pepper bell at your home, watch this video. Hi guys, I am Shine from the Edge Plant. Welcome to our channel. Today in this video, I wanna show you how you can grow up bell pepper at your home. Nowadays, most of people live in apartment and they don't have access to a yard and they think they can grow up the uh, fruits like, I don't know, cucumber, potato, onion. You can do all of them at your home in the pot. In this video, I'll show you how you can grow up bell pepper at your home. Stay with me until end of this video. Okay guys, first of all, I talk about the tools we need. Uh, we need a knife, perlite, cocoa peat for soil, a seed tray uh, for planting, uh, actually primary planting, seed or if you don't access to seed, you can uh, use bell pepper and water. Okay guys, in first step, as I uh, told you, you can buy seed from a, a store or you can uh, take out the seed from uh, bell pepper. I don't access to seed, so uh, I wanna take out this uh, bell pepper uh, seeds. So uh, look, uh, you should, if you wanna take out the seeds, you should do like this, cut the bell pepper. And as you see, it's completely wet. And these are the seeds. You should take out the seeds with your finger. As, uh, look at the seeds, these are bell pepper seeds and I take out them for planting. Look, these are the seeds. Okay, after taking off the seeds, we go to next step. Uh, guys, uh, there is a point, uh, let me tell you, if your seeds are moist like this, because I just uh, have taken out from the bell pepper, is if it's moist, you don't need to put it in water. But if you buy the seeds uh, from a store, you should put it in a, a lukewarm water uh, for uh, three to eight hours. Uh, this uh, work increased the, uh, plant generation speed. Okay, in second step, this is our soil. Uh, we wanna plant the uh, seed inside the uh, perlite and cocoa peat. In perlite, you should uh, add water to your perlite to uh, completely moisten it. It absorbs the water, you don't need to mix it. Uh, you should stay for five minutes. After five minutes, you can uh, put it in a seed tray wait for five minutes okay guys uh, after five minutes as you see uh, my cocoa peat complete completely absorbed the water and now it's the time to mix the my perlite with cocoa peat uh, just a little perlite we need as you see two bunch is enough This is my uh, seed tray. I wanna uh, put water inside these cells as you see, then put the seeds uh, in every seed, in every cell. Uh, just pay attention, it should, uh, uh, your seed tray should have uh, well drainage. Look at this uh, hole, these are uh, our drainage. And if you don't have, um, and if you don't have a seed tray, you can uh, use another things, but you should always remember it should have good drainage. Drainage is really important. Now, okay guys, uh, it's time to add the soil to uh, my seed tray. Guys, after uh, filling the cells with soil, it's time to make hole uh, for putting seeds inside the soil. Uh, actually, you can do it with everything you want. Just uh, pay attention, length of each uh, hole should be about two centimeters. See, I made hole in every cell now i should put the seeds inside the hole look at these are my seeds every hole should have about two or three seeds it's enough it shouldn't be more than two or three as you see i put them inside the holes uh,
C tray, because of that I put it on another tray. Then you should moisten them completely. Always remember your, your soil should be uh, moist completely. Uh, okay guys, um, there is a point in here. Always remember, don't let your soil uh, get dried. It should be completely moist every day. Water the soil until the seeds generate. After you finish your work, uh, remember put your uh, seed tray in an environment with indirect light uh, until it generates. It takes about a week uh, for generating and after generating, uh, when the length of uh, every plant uh, gets about 15 centimeters, it's time to uh, transfer your uh, plant from uh, seed tray to pot. Uh, after uh, you transferred your uh, plant to the pot about uh, two or three months. It, dep it depends to the environment you grow up your uh, plant. It's a uh, bare fruits. As you see, this is my uh, bell pepper plant uh, after uh, three months and you see uh, the fruits uh, it bears as you see and it's really easy work. You don't need to do uh, something complicated, but always remember uh, and the soil you use for your pot should be again mix of perlite, cocoa peat and a little soil because the, uh, the pot soil should be a little heavy because of that add a little soil and this is enough. This is the work you should do and after three months uh, you can uh, have your uh, bell pepper uh, like this. I wish you can have your bell pepper uh, and your plant and you can enjoy delicious taste of your fruit. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I try to show you how you can grow up uh, your bell pepper in the pot. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any question, please ask us and we will be happy if you push the uh, subscribe button. Uh, until next video, bye bye.